It was in Kisumu that the former Prime Minister was barred from accessing the VIP area. This, the latest decision, was explained as orders from above. He was first delayed at the airport for a short period of time before being told that he does not have the right to use any VIP section in all local airports in the country. We spoke to the government's deputy chief of protocol who denied knowledge of any such incident or orders. I am not aware of that, Rhoda. Please call um, our press section and they will give you that information. So who could have the information? I, I have no idea. The airport's order is, however, not all. Some key civil servants who were close to the former prime minister in his office back when he was in power have reportedly received sucking letters even after Deputy President William Ruto's promise to work with the civil servants who were working for the former prime minister. The first sign that the Jubilee administration was going to extend little civility to the former prime minister was a reduction in the number of state security guards that Odinga is allocated. They were drastically reduced as he is no longer working for the government. Today, in the latest sign that it could get worse, he was told that he does not have access to VIP lounges in local airports. Who could be making these orders? For JSO at 7, I'm Rhoda Odiambo.